Albans is working to create its inaugural city flag. And our Haley Morgan finds out what ideas are flowing. Creating a new identity for the city of St. Albans. That sounds like a fun idea. Could we, could we need to have our flag hanging in the park and from our, our little street lights? Donna Howard has been a business owner in the city for 30 years now. She saw this rendering of a city flag, which didn't make the cut, but thinks something similar could be fitting. It's a good design. It uses the city logo, which is nice. Okay, there are a couple different designs that were discussed. I understand why they went with the Maple Leaf because, you know, the Maple Festival and even before the current Maple Festival, there was a Maple Festival back at the turn of the century that was held in St. Albans. The idea was brought up by a resident and people who live in the city have expressed the need for the flag. City officials agree. They think it goes with their plans to revamp the city. The city realized a while ago, back when we started this new round of redevelopment and revitalization, that branding is important and that having a sense of place and a look and feel are very important. So a flag is more an issue of, of community pride and just sort of being able to display an official symbol. Some people say that the city should put a picture of the railroad on the flag or the fountain in the park or maybe even their classic maple leaf. Everyone seems to have their own opinions. I like it. I think the maple leaf is a really nice symbolism for Vermont in general. Um, I think the color could be better. It's a little bland and a little too brown for my taste, but I think it is a really sweet idea. I think the railroad's a great idea. It's such like a historic thing in St. Albans. Over the next couple of months, city officials will be reworking the rough draft that was discussed in city council. Reporting in St. Albans, Haley Morgan, Channel 3 News.